Attorneys for the family of a developmentally disabled man who was killed back in July at a group home near Lamont released video of the incident as evidence in their wrongful death suit. 23 ABC's Mark Christian tells us why family members believe the death never should have happened. 27 year old Adam Lynch, who was born with fragile X syndrome, died because of suffocation, and his death was ruled a homicide. Attorneys for the family say those who were in charge of his care were the cause of his death. And this group home was in part uh, established and developed to care for someone just like Adam. As you can see from the surveillance video, Lynch, who is in the blue shirt and shorts, walks up to a staff member. And after a few moments, he punches the employee and the struggle begins. Then you see several other staff members restrain Lynch, taking him to the ground until he became unresponsive. Here you can see, even after he's not moving for several minutes, one man forces Lynch's legs to his buttocks, while others continue to put pressure on his back, neck, and head. They then continue to hold him down for a period of another approximately 15 minutes uh, until the sheriff's department arrives. Now, according to the family attorney, one of the things that's equally as disturbing on the tape is, as you can see, while the deputy's performing CPR on Adam, one of the men that was actively holding him down is now doing dishes, oblivious to what is going on. I personally haven't been in this situation but that just seems to me to be a strange reaction. Clark said that even though Lynch threw the first punch, the facility should have had proper procedures in place for restraint that did not include killing their client. Look, of course the staff has a right to defend themselves, but then it's how do they react thereafter? You know, did that right of defense include the right to use deadly force? My contention is it did not. The Kern Regional Center and the Mountain View Ranch Residential Care Facility are named in the lawsuit. The family hopes the lawsuit forces residential care facilities like Mountain View to reevaluate how they care for developmentally disabled residents. You know, to have something like this happen in a home where he was supposed to be cared for and supposed to be safe, that's what's really upset the family. In Bakersfield, Mark Christian, 23 ABC. The Garden.